Welcome to week number two, Trash Mouth Fantasy Football League, week two edition of the podcast show. We have a three-time champion, King Reaper, joins the show. Welcome. Oh, thank you for having me, Dave. Uh, it's always a pleasure to talk to you, my man. Great victory. 58-40 victory over the your rival Bengali Bombers in the West Division. What are your what are your thoughts on that uh impressive cruising victory? Um very satisfied. Um I mean, how how can you my question to you is how can you call it a rivalry when it's so one sided? Eventually the other team has to fight back once in a while, right? I knew it was coming. I knew it. That's, uh, that's, that's pretty much uh, a whitewash. A whitewash. All right. So your leading scorers, 30 out of your 58 points came from Kyle Murray, your second round pick, and your rookie sensation, as advertised, Marvin Harrison Jr. What are your thoughts about that hookup? Two, three touchdowns, two of them going to Marvin Starvin Harrison Jr. I love it. Um, Want to correct you a little bit? It's Kyler Murray. Oh, I'm right? sorry. It's sorry. not Kyle Murray. Since sorry. the guy was so dominant, he needs a little bit of respect shown his way. But I was very, very pleased. I was at a bar uh, entertaining a female friend. And uh, before we knew it, before the nachos were ordered, uh, I look up and uh, my man's running down the field. For a big play, I go to the bathroom, come back, and uh, I thought it was a replay when I came back, and it's uh, number two within four minutes of the game. So I knew we were on uh, on our way and off and running, and took a, a week to get off the ground, but we're there and uh, very pleased with it, man. Yes, very impressive connection. All right, that was uh, win number 69 in the King Reaper career since 2015. Thoughts on that? Um, I mean, uh, been, been a, consist a very consistent team. I think um, probably the best expansion team uh, you've had in your league. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. That. I'll leave that up to the founding fathers, you know. Uh, well, the ones that are relevant anyway and actually win in the league. So I'll, I'll leave that to you guys. Uh, you guys make up uh, your mind. But uh, it's been a very competitive league. Um, I sh I've shown in the past that if you get off to a slow start, it's not over. I I, I have I talked to you last week. I, I have a terrible opening week, uh, just about almost every year, and uh, I was glad to get back on board and uh, and lead to uh, my 69th victory. Well, pretty funny that number, but hopefully it lead to more, and I'm. Looking to hit triple digits in record uh, time. That's what I'm. That's what I'm shooting for next. Yes, that's. Uh, we have a uh, statistical category for 100 wins, and you're actually on pace to uh, set that new record. You're definitely on pace. I think 125 games in, you have 69 wins. Uh, so you're definitely on your way there. So congratulations there. And it's also your 20th victory, scoring the most points for the week. So that's uh, also impressive. 20 out of your 69 wins have been the most points for the week. Yeah, I'm very pleased with that. I was looking at the numbers today. Second highest scoring team in the league. Congratulations to uh, Brian for getting off to our uh, uh, fantastic start in his uh in his uh, comeback to the league, and uh, good to see him. I'll see him down the road, hopefully. Um, but I've also given up, I believe, the most points in the league. So I had a little bit of bad luck in week one, and uh, my opponent had a good week to prevent me from uh, getting off to a win. But we'll see what happens, man. So it's early in the season. Got to keep making the moves, and uh, hopefully we uh, keep continuing the, the winning trend. All right. So, moving on to week number four. Three, your, week three. I'm sorry, I'm not even paying attention. Week three, your upcoming opponent, Chet Psychos, 2-0 and oh on the season. What are your thoughts uh, about him? Uh, Just... Chet's very good. I mean, basically, uh, I 
I, I told you guys when the season started at the draft, I thought that Chet had a very good team. I think I gave you the four names, uh, one of which has gotten off to a terrible start, and uh, I don't understand it with the roster that he has, but that's for another day. He's got to worry about his own team. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, man. Chet's a very formidable opponent. Uh, he he knows the game about just about as any of us, just as good as any of us, and uh, I'm looking forward to a good matchup. Okay, so this part of the segment of the show, very popular, is the parting shots of Trash Mouth Fantasy Football Podcast Show. Anything anything directed towards any GM, anybody, even to the league, uh, feel free. Um, um, nothing. I mean, I've had, I, I, uh, all you guys have a special place in my competitive heart. <laughs> um, I don't want to bad about anybody. I just want to wish everybody uh, good luck on. with uh, the rash of injuries that we've had early on. It's pretty crazy how many superstars are just falling down and and just you can't you can't do anything all you can do is set your lineup and you can't do nothing about injuries they come and they go and you have to be able to adjust on the fly you got to make decisions i've seen some decisions today that were a little eyebrow raising that i uh, honestly didn't believe some of the moves that were made today with the injuries on their teams but hey to each his own man you gotta be you gotta know when to hold them and when to fold them, and hopefully injuries uh, are just a small part of our teams this year and doesn't continue, man. I don't want to see anybody lose to, to injuries. Uh, I break I break anybody's balls, but injuries, I don't wish that on anybody, and, and, and hopefully everybody stays healthy and we have a good season and uh, keep it competitive, you know? Okay. I don't have any party shots for anybody in particular. I said enough. I've done enough to, the, to that guy, so... I don't think I need to continue. It's not a rivalry when it's one-sided, like I tell you. <laughs> he knows who I'm talking about. <laughs> I laugh every time. I love it. Um, okay, so thank you again for joining the show. I'm sure we'll see you again very soon. And what is the phrase that pays to get on this show once again, King Reaper? Hey, man, you want to talk to Dave every week? You got to score the most points for the week so you can uh, talk to uh, one of the founding fathers and one of the most knowledgeable guys I know about football. And uh, I didn't pay, I didn't get my coffee on the way in. I'll grab it on my, on my way out. Hopefully, uh, I'll see you next week and uh, the weeks after that also, man. But always great talking to you, Dave. Good luck. Hope your team stays healthy. And uh, I'll see you down the road, my man. All right. Thank you very much. Have a good time. Thank you. You too, buddy.